All right, here we go, guys. Part two of the 2020 Miami Boat Show experience. It's Sweeney, Doc, and I. And the first part was the Power Cats, the big Power Cats like Freeman and Tideline. This one is the weird and wacky stuff, the really unique marine-related products we saw at the Boat Show. And it's, it's literally just the top three. We saw a lot of really cool, innovative things. But these were the three, at least to me, that stuck out. Uh, we're going to have a, a Sea-Doo jet ski set up for fishing. That's coming up. We're also going to have an absolutely insane Deep V 34-foot boat called the Solace 345. Things on this I've never seen on a boat before. Just uh, really rewrote how you think about an outboard-powered boat. We're going to start, though, with a Tesla-inspired electric outboard motor called Torquedo. Very interesting, and I know you, get, you guys are going to be shocked at the price. And uh, Spoiler alert, it's 45000 for an 80 horsepower engine. I think the key thing to remember here is I believe these guys are the first to try this. And uh, like everything else, the, the first generation of anything is expensive. And as technology improves and as demand improves, um, you know, the price comes down. So it's just something to consider, right? I, it, it rang a bell with me. I'm, I'm, you know, I don't own any electric vehicles, but the fact that they're thinking about this, who knows in, you know, 10 years, 15 years, what the outboard industry is going to look like and electric outboards might be like electric cars. Now we may be seeing more and more of them. So to start off, we're going to, we're going to start with the Torquedo outboard company. And you're Jeff with Torquedo. You work yep. for the company and you guys are electric outboards basically. Yes. We go from one horsepower all the way up to 130 horsepower. Uh, the one horsepower motor is our ultralight or kayak motor, which is right here. Oh, this um, is tiny. This is the battery for it. It's totally waterproof. It actually uh, has a GPS unit in there that displays the speed here. We're gonna look at that in a minute on the, the three horsepower, but it calculates your range. You always know how much more range that you have at whatever throttle setting. So Very for instance, cool. if, you, if you go offshore four and a half miles and you know, it knows that you have uh, just enough to get back. Well, if you if you have the, the bigger 915 watt hour battery, you can go um, on different kayaks. It's as much as 13.1 miles at full speed, which um, you know the better performing kayaks, uh, you'll get 5.7 miles per hour. Wow! So we've we've had. And the, what's the battery life? Um, just in general, in terms of how it, it average use. Uh, Calm day. Okay, I uh, the longest day that I've had with the the ultralight, I covered 25.3 miles trolling for striped bass in the upper Chesapeake Bay. Wow. Up on the Susquehanna Flats. Some a lot of it I was trolling in the kayak where I'd have a Yozuri flash minnow shallow diver on this side, a deep diver on this side, and I would just straddle the the drop off the ridge, looking for you know looking for fish. But then if I look out two miles away, I see birds dropping to the surface, I just bring them in and go full speed. That uses up the energy faster. Right, right. But then once I'm there... It's I'm like gas on. on your outboard. If you're going faster, you're burning more. Right. So really the the 403 AC, which is uh, the, the ultralight kayak motor with the 915, the bigger battery, uh, you cannot exhaust it in a day of fishing. And this is the one I really want to talk about. This is the 80, right? Yep. So this would have applications besides aluminum boats. Uh, you could put this on a 17-foot. We have a carbon fiber Zin boat out on the dock. You yeah. really got to go look at okay. it. It's, uh, it's a sweet ride. All right. It's, um, I think one of my colleagues was out in it. They did a photo shoot or uh, getting some marketing photos at dusk last night. We were out there and they said it was going 43. 43, that's yeah, awesome. 43 miles an hour in electric boat. What's the MSRP on this? Um, so they start at, at 45,000, okay. which includes the, the motor, the battery, the chargers, and installation, and it goes up from there. So right. Deep blue so that's are, that's a lot of money, but again, if, if maybe you live on a lake and you have the money and it's a no, uh, no gas motor lake, right. th this would be a, a nice alternative. Yeah. And I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a sweet looking motor. I, I was impressed with the five, uh, five blade. Uh, yep. You don't see a lot of five blade uh, props on outboards. Right. I would say that for most, you know, most, most folks that are out there fishing some of the electric only lakes and they're 
tired of putting two trolling motors on the back and, yeah. and just putting around. And yeah. They really want a lot more range and speed. That travel motor is right. It. What what's really the range strong. on this one? Uh, it depends. It depends what boat it's on. But so if it's on a, a it's, 17 foot like a Key West, a, a, a fiberglass 17 so footer, you could have you know at like and I'm just gonna throw out numbers. Right. They're not accurate. But to give you an idea, uh, if you if you went at full speed for an hour and a half, it would exhaust the battery. You know, and you'd cover 48 miles. But if you went at three quarter speed, it jumps up to 60 some miles. If you go at half speed, it's 100 right. miles. It's how aggressively. Yeah, you yeah. Push it, it. Again, it's like it's like a gas outboard. The more you have the, if you have it at wide open throttle, you're gonna only Let's run it for a, a few hours. At, we're gonna take a look at the back and take a look at the bemused look on Sweeney's face as we walk by him here. And yes, he owns a Tesla, so you know he should not have that look. Uh, let let let's move on to some gas powered uh, fishing vessels. And uh, interestingly, it's a. It's a jet ski, a Sea Doo jet ski that is completely rigged for fishing. Doc owns a Sea Doo jet ski, and uh, <laughs> again, he's seriously thinking about uh, trading his in for this. We'll see what happens this year if he actually does it. But this this looks like a lot of fun, and at fifty five miles an hour, a, a way to get to the fish really fast. So Doc, this is. Doc is obsessed with getting. Hold on, Doc. Let me talk to you. Yeah. With your jig and jerks account. Uh, Doc is obsessed with getting a jet ski for fishing, and we're in the Sea Doo booth. Yep. Yeah. And look what we found. So, it has, uh, so you're? Are you a Sea Doo representative now? <laughs> A senior representative? No, not quite. But they put this here. Sea so dude, it, not oh, senior. Oh, senior. Oh, senior representative. I own a sea dude, but uh, you can sit and put your legs here now. They put this here. They extended this. They added a piece here. It's not part of the original mold. So now you can put two coolers. You can put more storage. This cooler is excellent. They, these come off. They clip on and off. So you can put as many as you want. This is a very technical description you're giving. Got a GPS. I want to see him on car right with this thing. Yeah. <laughs> and it, and it, it, now they just, the 2020 model is a 170 horsepower. Oh, you are getting technical. Yes. All right. No, the, 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 the so how fast does this go down? The 2019 was 150 horsepower. They just you know your stuff about this. They just upgraded oh, it to 170 Turn horsepower. Turn around, Doc. So you can get up to 60 mi miles an hour. At 60 least, miles an hour. Least. And um, yeah, but how would you fish very, off this, Doc? You, I, it's very easy. It's very easy. You sit this way. You put your legs this way. If this piece is not here, you can sit on here and fish in the back. Okay. The compartments are made. And it, oh, it, so, looks, it looks like it's starting at 15 grams. So let me just show you. Are you allowed to touch things? Yeah. Yeah. How do you open the... Uh, I just want to show the uh, compartment. So... Oh, wow. So, like, on, on the other oh, jet skis, the old ones, the compartment used to open like this, like my yeah, my anchor thing. Get to it. So now they did it this way, so you have access. This thing comes out, you know, uh, and you can use it as a bag, you know. Um, it's it, it's an awesome it's an awesome uh, vehicle. Yeah, awesome. You don't have to sell this one to me. This this is awesome. <laughs> and fully rigged like this. I see it starts at uh, 15, oh, look, but fully rigged. Out. What are we looking at? 15, so, right? So yeah, the, with the 15, you are getting the, uh, the, GPS? Uh, the GPS and oh, fish okay. finder. You're getting the foot rails, the foot rails, and you are getting the cooler, the cooler. with the rod holders. Oh, okay. that's you cool. You get the rods or the net. The only thing we really added on to this one was the bumpers on the side on that side. Yes. Um, the speakers are an eight hundred dollar option. You shouldn't play music while you're fishing, FYI. But these are the bumpers. Oh, wow, you can make them go to the side. Huh? Yep. Okay. Oh, they're adjustable. Yep. There's some angled ones. So you here. could you, thing, you could use it as outriggers almost. The only thing they yeah, should have done. The only thing they should have done on this uh -huh. is because when you're fishing and you have to cast, yeah. these are a problem sometimes. They should have had these, you know, no level. Do you uh, is Sidu looking for a technical advisor? Oh, horizontal. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Is Sidu looking for a technical advisor who doubles as a dentist? <laughs> 
They uh, they actually hired. She's not here anymore, but she was here over the weekend. They hired somebody who uh, fishes competitively, like sport fishing. She? Yeah. Picks. She. Picks. Um, I don't have any picks. All right. Her. I'm trying to remember what her name was, uh -huh. uh, but she made an appearance over here. But she's cool. out of actually West Palm Beach. All right. And uh, yeah, she actually fishes on one of these competitively. So, so what is this cost loaded the way here? So it's fifteen. With, 15. with, the, with the GPS, the stereo, with everything. With no, 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 the stereo is an eight hundred dollar option. Yeah. So you're looking at fifteen eight with the stereo, and then they added on. Uh, the bumpers here on the side, yeah, and they added this stuff on there. What, what's yeah. the point of the bumpers other than when you're docking? Extra fuel uh, and yeah. a dry storage. When you're right. pulling up, just, just, just when you're pulling up, right? You know, There's no one. Yeah. And I pop these bumpers off? Yeah. And it's 15. So, 15 eight. That's exactly what you get. 15 eight. So, let me ask you. Come on, yeah. Probably about a thousand bucks. Yeah, the 2020 is 170 horsepower now, right? Correct. Okay, what is that top at? 60-ish? 55 to 60? About 55. 55, yeah. It depends on who's riding. I'm 230, right. so yeah, yeah. it's not going to go as fast as me. Right. I mean, I mean, I mean, Do you have uh, are there on trip tabs on this one? Um, trim tabs. Trim tabs. Yes. Trim tabs on the rear, right? Yeah. 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 I don't it is. Yeah. Yeah, it does have trip tabs. Yes. It does. It does. I know my stuff. Don't laugh at me. Holy crap, it has trip tabs. Oh my god. <laughs> I know my stuff. That's crazy. It has trip tabs. Yeah, I told you. How's how it? This is unreal. And I saved the best for last. This was my absolute favorite boat slash marine product at the Miami 2020 Boat Show. The Solace 345. Let's just jump right into it. Okay. If you were, you know, leaving, you'd put it back in, or if you forgot, as soon as you put the engines in gear, it automatically retracts. Yeah, so this is a Solace 345, and if you look at it from behind, you think this is a cat. Um, the motors are spaced as if they were cat motors, and you have this interesting center area, walkway, but this is a traditional deep V. Um, very interesting design. Shoes off? Huh? Thank you. Wow. So, yeah, that's the systems, access, pumps, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. Yeah. You yeah. could, you know, if that, if this slides in, you could fish right here. Yeah. So it's a 34 foot boat to here. That's 38. It's 38 feet out there. Come on in. Just come in. Interesting. Right. right. Yeah. So it's 34 feet to here. And wow. there's another four foot extension here. This is crazy. So this, these are seats too. Yeah, this is a, this is a foot rest here. And then, and then the neat thing is these are on magnets. So they just... Oh wow. So there's no snaps or anything like that. Oh, that, that is really cool. And then you got on here, you got like... You can Dock your paper towels, your grill. Catch. Even a soap dispenser. Lots of storage. Storage nice yeah. and big. Tackle in there. More storage underneath. Well, it's actually. And look at this. You have your cooler on the side. I've never seen that. Yeah. Two coolers. This is a That's seat. cool, right? 12 volt seat. Oh, you have a seat keeper too. Look at how. Look at. So you got two starting batteries, four house batteries. Here's the hydraulic pump for your swim platform, your windshield, and your riser yeah. at the helm. So these store. Here, this dedicated. Place I see for that. Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It went very well thought out. So, and then back behind you here, this is kind of more of a fishing plumbing here. This wet, wet bilge. Yeah. So this is all oh, and custom, you, custom made. Yeah, and house, you have sea a sea chest. Yeah. So you got your stern anchor here, five gallon buckets, separate live well tuna too. Everything's labeled. Plumbing's all labeled. Two fills flood the sea chest. And if, if one fails, you got diverters and you can use one oh, pump to do one. Uh, Excuse me? Top speed with these is uh, upper 50s. It'll do 60 plus with the 450. Wow. It's out all the way. And storage galore. Yeah. Storage under you. Oh, wow. Oh, 
there, so you can't feel your feet. Oh my god! This is some wow. kind of mat. Be here all day. Oh, you could be here all day. So this mat it. is Two amazing on your feet. When you got shock absorbing uh, shock wave. Oh, oh yeah, really? Fred yeah. has this on his boat. Oh, yeah. And the, you're like, you know what they say that when you're in a big SUV or a pickup, a big pickup, how you feel like you're sitting on top of the road. This you feel, sweetie. Yeah. Yes. You yes. feel like you're on a bridge here. Absolutely. Going up. Oh, I am going up. Oh, no way. Holy cow. Oh, only you? Hey, I want to go up. Hey, the little yeah. guy has to go up. I want to go up. I want to go up. Right, where was the height? Where did he get that? He's through it. All right. I mean, there's a couple no way. Let me get a shot of this. Dude. So. Wow. Look at this. Sweetie. I can see. <laughs> sweetie can now see over the dash. I like this boat. And nice. I'm telling you, that is the most comfortable yeah, yeah, helm yeah, seat yeah, I've ever... Yeah. Doc, step two, on this. Two inches, he said. Yeah, two the foam is so thick. It's amazing. Right. So, so, you can charge your phones here. There's wireless cell phone chargers. Oh, I've here. never There's seen that. All the lighting and all the drink holders. How customizable is this if you didn't want uh, forward seating? Not well, they kind of like to build it this way. Yeah, no, and I get it. It's very expensive can, when you build the molds, yeah. the, the caps and everything. I mean, what is... Uh, what is the MSRP? Six fifty. Six fifty. And we've got full height height backrest here again. Uh, magnets. Holding. Yeah, that very innovative stuff. I've never seen like this is all new to the industry, right? I mean, I. Yeah, I mean the, the guy engineers it all, and then you don't have to take the cushions off. You can still get inside. That's nice. So you don't. Have I I like that quick release too. Yeah. You're not fumbling for latches and turning them. Right. These you don't have to turn the jam. Oh, latches. that's nice. So that's nice. Step one, it's done. This has seven different densities of foam. Yeah. And this is still leather. Like it, you can't. You can get a sharpie and mark it, and it'll clean right up. Wow. And, I mean, it, it stays. So so, just from an elevation perspective, yeah. this is. My favorite boat yes. out of the last few boat shows I've been to. This is definitely. I, I read about it on the Hall Truth, but I I, I forgot about it. There was a whole thread about it. What's the list on What's this? this Six fifty. Oh, charging, you're charging ports for hey, your phone. You're charging ports you got over there. Wow. Right, yeah. They're waterproof. There's two wow. two double chargers on either side, wow. and then the wireless. Help me check dome. this out. You gotta see this. Look at this. See this thing? Yeah, it's wireless. Did you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it charges your phone. Yeah, it just well, that's really cool. Up. It's just, oh, come in. The head. The head. Look at this. For thirty-four footer. Oh, no. Look at that. Holy cow! This is the best entrance. AC. Unreal. AC. Wide door here. Now, oh, and it's. Wow. And then this flips down. Or this is out, so. Right? This is so innovative. I would buy this phone. How does this come out? Manually? Just pull it. Yeah. You, if it I just, just pull. Oh. Yeah, yeah. oh, okay. Oh, and wow. it becomes a sleeper. Wow. There you go. That's awesome. Hey, Doc, get in here. You even have storage underneath here. Like, there's your little, yeah. of course, wow. there's for, like, liquor and bottles Someone, and so forth. Wow. And then you have more underneath here, too. We noticed they're empty right now. Crazy. <laughs> But this is nice. Bedroom, look at all the, you're not claustrophobic. You know what? You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of what Everglades was doing 15 years ago when they were doing the wraparound glass windshields. When they were doing things other folks weren't doing. Well, it's the same guy. Oh, it is. <laughs> Stephen Doherty. Oh, all right, Bob Doherty's son. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And he just Bob just I know passed away uh, recently. What's the price tag on this boat? This one lists for 650 with everything it's got, but everything's standard. All you do is pick what power you want and maybe what hull color you want. So this this is the same. This is the son this of the guy that created Everglades and and Edgewater and was the yeah, yeah, yeah. around. That is so sick. That's the heat. Yeah, that, this is the best access to a, a head I've ever seen. Wow. Can we keep him in there? <laughs> you locked him in there. Shit, this is so cool. All right. All right. So it seems as most doors just hinged, and what you're gonna do yes. is you gotta get in there no, with this. this. It's great, great innovation. It's like great a and I, I, you know, I, I like the store. color. I like it. Yeah, it just yeah, looks yeah. modern and low maintenance mm -hmm. and sleek. You got your nine rod holders in there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. You put all our fluke rods in there. Yeah. Dude, it's got nine rod holders in the head. Vertical, seven and a half feet. This is insane. And there you go, the wild and wacky of the 2020 Miami Boat Show. The best of the wild and wacky, I should say. There were a lot more wild and wacky things. Um, so the Solace was definitely my favorite boat. 
I think, uh, especially given my past kayak experience, those of you that saw my last video know what I'm talking about. Um, and, you know, if I had $15,000 laying around to, to spend, that sea do would be a tremendous fishing platform. Uh, you, you know, if you're interested in going solo, as if you were a kayak guy, uh, you know, you're not really fishing with two fishing. folks on that. Um, and, Just you know, last fishing. but not least, uh, the Torquedo. Uh, definitely fishing. innovative. Definitely something Just that I fishing. think in the years to come, the price will come down and fishing. we may start seeing more applications of that. Uh, all in all, it, it was a great trip. We got a couple more of these uh, 2020 Miami Boat Show uh, boat Just videos fishing. coming out. We got a, a Bay Boat edition we have a, a large center council edition so look out for those as always if you like these videos hit that like button and if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this please hit that subscribe button